Good morning. Good can, morning. Can you tell me your name? Jan Kaur. What country and town were you born in? I born in Shokra. After this, uh, my mommy is uh, my nanke. Nani, nani grow up kita when da. Pariyamenna. So she, 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 her grandma, mom's grandma, uh, brought mom up. Mama mera hai na si koi. The masiya siya the family nani men me call rakhiya men pariyona. Then my nani ko rahiya. She didn't have an uncle on her mom's side, so they're just girls in the family. And so this is why her grandma, she lived with her grandma, her grandma raised her and brought her up. I was grandma, I was a grandmother, I was a grandmother, I was a kid. So as she got older, the roles reversed. Mom looked after her grandparents because there was no body else to do it. And so as they obviously raised mom when she was younger, then mom helped them when they were older in their age. They used to have um, obviously farm animals, the grandparents, and cows to give them milk and buffaloes. And so mum used to milk the cows and uh, look after the uh, farm animals. And she also looked after her grandma and um, granddad and helped them with the cooking and, uh, you know, general household duties. And after that, when she was a bit older, uh, marriageable age, then they married her. But then she went back to her, I believe it was a couple of days before she got married, they, she went back to her own parents, and that's where the wedding took place. But it was joint with your sister, wasn't it, the wedding, Mum? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very happy living with the grandparents because obviously she was the only child there uh, and they looked after her well because uh, they obviously their attention was just uh, given to her alone and so she was she did as she was told and vice versa and, and she was happy living with her grandparents. She wanted to be educated yeah. then, but in those days the girls weren't educated at all. So what year will we be looking at then? Um, mm. I mean, 1931, Mum was born. Yeah. So it was... In the 40s? Yeah, yeah. So this would be during the war? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got her a bit. Right, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yes, this would be... 47. Yeah. Have you any memories of how close the war came to you in the village? She uh, was a little bit older, she was looking at the house and looking at the house. She was very close to the house, she was very close to the house, she was very close to the house. Yes. Yeah. Mum says that they could see, uh, from the top of the house, they could see the burning, and they could see people uh, and the noise and screams and and then they could also see um, the animals being washed away and it was it was border lagda hunda sa it was very very frightening and they were very scared but although they weren't involved themselves in the war but they could see what was going on around them you got married you had a joint wedding Oh, yeah. With your sister. So, yeah. did you meet your husband beforehand? What is it? Oh, she never, she never, she never, she never, she never, no, she didn't see the war. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So who made that decision? Was that the grandparents or your parents? My daddy who did that. Yeah, her dad, mum's dad. But you got married in India, and when did you come to England? I did that one year. Fifty-two, your daddy came in 1952. Five years after mum came. Yeah, five years old, this girl. This girl, yeah. This Indian born there. I was nine months old then, and then I think we came here in 1958, I believe, mum. Fifty-seven, that's right. Fifty-seven, was it? Fifty-seven. You came with just was it just you did you think? Yes, you it was. Yes, yeah. yeah. When you arrived, where did you come to? Which city? City. A city. Yeah. I tell you, yeah. Coventry. Coventry. Yeah. Came Coventry. straight to Coventry. Coventry yes. and the Hillfields. Mum's yeah. aunt lived there. Yeah. Did Dad go to fetch you? Didn't he? Mm-hmm. Daddy lucky I asked. Yeah, the mere master's daughter lucky I said. All oh, right. Oh, her uncle and my father went to get us from the airport. Our border? Huh? It's Heathrow. Heathrow, yes. Heathrow. How did you feel when you arrived in England in Coventry? Uh, you were, uh, happy, see? You was happy? Happy, see, yeah. No, it was a new life, uh, I suppose, you know. And of course, seeing, seeing her husband as well, which she hadn't seen for some time, for a long time. And then, and then after George, George Eliot, which she came and obviously they yeah, had, yeah, yeah. had some food and stuff. Yeah. And she came to Cromwell Street. Um, that's where my dad lived with his old, older brother, 19 Cromwell Street. And then that's where she stayed up until uh, late 80s. So she stayed in mm. Cromwell Street all those years. So how old were you when you came to England first with Dishy? Nera Kyala, 24, 25 years 24, 24 years old. Yeah. How old were you? Yeah. I was five. Five years old, I see. Must be quite exciting for you, too. Oh, it was. But, that, but that's a different interview. <laughs> that's a different interview. It was exciting. <laughs> no, we Not a word of English, eh? Yeah. <laughs> when you arrived first and you were settling in, what was the community like? Were they friendly? Were they... Everybody friendly. Yes. They are called the Sari and the Sari, and the Sari. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So everybody was very friendly, very helpful. Oh, how did that be done this and we still they were today. We still know them to this day, the people that are alive. It was a road mainly with a lot of elderly people, um, and some young Irish people and a few West Indians. Um, mixed is again, it Indian was, it was mixed. It was mixed. Go yeah. to again. And they're Asians and English. They were all mixed community. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to add? Any stories that you have that you think we should hear? Oh, jada idhar raha hai, very hard life to be. Yeah, shoppa bhi na. Shoppa bhi khuli hai na si hundiya. Na chijja na si mal. Na chijja mer diya si kya karta the ration mer da si ka. Kamma to ona to shoppa late honiya. ਛੋਪਾਂਦੀ <laughs> So mum says, right. so mom says that they had ration cards and that you couldn't get many groceries and the shops never used to open, they only opened a short while um, and it was very hard to make anything and one day when, because there used to be about six people living in, in the house, um, this is my dad's story mum is saying, and he says there was nothing to make, nothing to cook. And in the garden there was a potato plant. So Dad dug that potato plant up and got the potatoes out, washed the potatoes. And that's how he made his curry with the potatoes out of the garden that day because there was nothing else in the house to eat. And then he fed these six people with that. Yes. Yes. Very hard time, Sagado. Yes. 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 Yes.
ਨਾ ਕਾਰਪੇਟ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਇੱਟਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਰੋਜ਼ ਨਾਪ ਫੇਰਨੇ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਫੈਰ ਪਾਉਣੇ ਸਵੇਰ ਨੂੰ ਕੋਲਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਹੱਥਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਧੋਣੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਅਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੇ ਉਸ ਨਾਲ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਕੋਲਰੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਕੱਪੜੇ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਉਹ ਧੋਤੇ ਹੱਥਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਧੋਤੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਮਮ ਸੈਸ ਦਟ ਸ਼ੀ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਵਾਸ਼ ਬਲੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਫੈਕਟਰੀ ਕਲੋਥਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਹਰ ਹੈਂਡਸ ਦੇਰ ਵਾਸ ਨੋ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਮਸ਼ੀਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਸਕ੍ਰਬ ਥਮ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਥੇਰ ਵਾਸ ਨੋ ਹੀਟਿੰਗ ਥੇਰ ਵਾਸ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੂਡ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਟਾਇਲਟ ਐਟ ਦਾ ਬੋਟਮ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਗਾਰਡਨ and they used to have a coal shed where there was no carpets um it was stone floor or you'd have lino that you'd have to mop and it was just just cold very cold very hard hard times even even the toilet would be absolutely freezing cold yes it was it was that they don't seem to talk or open up about half of the stuff that they used to suffer because they seem to just hide that away you know they don't want to talk about it how many children do you have in the budget six six children six children six one boy and five girls one boy and five, five girls. girls this old one there uh, yeah. how many grandchildren have you can i get it 11 11 grandchildren grandchildren yes yeah we'll do that too. Yeah. one one great grandchildren you got yeah. one great grandchildren one great grandchildren, grandchildren. yeah children we are very happy now family yes in all the years you have been in coventry yes. you must have seen a lot of changes theek hai agar na badhiya hai hui hai yeah she model kari jande gaan de gaan yeah she 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 says it's um it's very good with all again with all the different communities they all come together help one another it's a lot more advanced um than she's ever known it uh where there's help provided if you you know getting people together because she belongs to um the group actor group where people come together all, all nationalities they have a coffee chinwag and it gets them out of the house whereas in her when she first came over none of that was around yeah. you had to make your own success or mind you she was a lot younger then as well and she was busy with the family but she's she's very happy very contented